Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity multi user tutorial. Here is the addressing table. Uh, here we can see the devices and its IP address, subnet mask, and DNS server address. We will also go through the objectives of this packet tracer activity. In part 1, establish a local multi user connection to another instance of packet tracer. In part 2, verify connectivity across a local multi-user connection. We will also go through the background of this uh, packet tracer activity. Uh, the multi-user feature in packet tracer allows multiple point-to-point -point connections between multiple instances of packet tracer. This first packet tracer multi-user activity is a quick tutorial demonstrating the steps to establish and verify a multi-user connection to another instance of packet tracer within the same LAN, obviously. So here uh, we got uh, two packet tracer activities. Anyway, we are going to see that. Ideally, this uh, activity is uh, meant for two students. However, it can also be completed as a solo activity simply by opening the two separate files to create two separate instances of packet tracer on your local machine. Well, so here we are going to uh, do this activity as a solo activity and we are going to complete this. Coming to part 1, establish a local multi-user connection to another instance of packet tracer. Step 1, select a partner and to determine the role for each student. Right here we have both packet tracer activity for server side and client side. So we are going to do in a single uh, machine. Find a fellow classmate with whom you will cooperate to complete this activity. Your computers must both be connected to the same LAN. Right. So determine which of you will play the server side and which of you will play the client side in this activity. The server side player opens Packet Tracer Multi User Tutorial Server Side.pka. The client side player opens Packet Tracer Multi User Tutorial Client Side.pka. Solo players can open both files and complete these uh, steps for uh, both sides. Yes, so we are going to uh, um, act as a solo players and we are going to do that. Coming to step 2, server side player, configure the server side of the PTMU link. The client side player must have the IP address, port number and password used by the server side player before the client side player can create a connection to the server side player. Configure packet tracer to be ready for an incoming connection by completing the following steps. Click the extensions menu, then multi user, then listen. Right, here we can see that. Here is our uh, server side packet tracer activity, and here we can see that extension uh, menu, multi user, then click on listen. Next is you have two local listening addresses. If there are more than two listed, refer to the first two only. The first one is the real IP address of the server side player's local machine. It is the IP address your computer uses to send and receive data. The other IP address 127.0.0.1 can only be used for communications within your own computer's environment. Coming to the multi-user listen, here we can see two address uh, with port number uh, 172.16.29.195.38000. So this IP address, it's the IP address of uh, my system what I'm using currently. So we can verify that. Here we can see that 172.16.29.195. So it shows here in this uh, uh, local listening address. Next is the port number is listed next to your IP addresses and in the port number field. If this is the first instance of packet tracer you opened on your computer, then the port number will be 38000. However, if you have multiple instances open, it will increment by one for each instance. Here we can see example 38001, 38002, etc. The port number is required by the client side player to configure the multi user connection. Only we have to take care of this uh, uh, port, uh, port number. Also, this IP address uh, which is in this uh, local listening address field. Next is the password is set to Cisco by default. You can change it, but it is not necessary for this activity. 
here we can see that uh, password uh, it's by default uh, Cisco uh, if, if you want we can change it but they say we can use the same password for this activity next is uh, tell the client side player your IP address port number and password the client side player will need these three piece of pieces of information to connect to your packetizer instance in uh, step 3 so we have to uh, uh, keep uh, these informations in mind uh, the IP address port number uh, and this uh, password next in the existing remote network section you must click always accept or prompt radio button for the client side player to successfully connect here we can see that uh, existing remote networks uh, we can give either always accept or prompt so here we are uh, giving uh, this always accept Next is in the new remote network section, confirm that the always deny radio button is enabled. This will prevent the client side player from creating a new link that is not specified in this activity. Then uh, click OK. Here we can see that a new remote network. So we have to uh, enable this uh, radio button always deny and we are going to press OK. Next is click the multi-user connection icon are represented as a cloud with a th three lines then click the remote network icon and add a remote network to the topology coming to uh, the server side packet tracer here we can see that multi-user connection here we are going to select this in the remote network and we are going to add it to this packet tracer near to our switch Next is uh, click the pure zero name and change it to PTMU link. It is case sensitive. Right, coming to pure zero and we are going to rename it as PTMU link. Next is uh, click the PTMU link cloud and verify that the connection type is incoming and that the use global multi user password checkbox is enabled right coming to ptmu link and here we can see that the connection type is incoming by default it is selected incoming and we must uh, enable this uh, use global multi-user password and click ok next is uh, click the connections icon and choose the solid black copper straight through connection and click S1 and choose the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 color connection. Then click PTMU link, create new link. Coming to connection, here we can see copper straight through. And we are going to connect to S1 Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 to this PTMU link, create new, new link. Coming to step 3 client side player configure the client side of the ptmu link record the following information supplied to you by the server side player one is ip address port number and the password so here we kept the password by default that is cisco here we can see the details uh, in the text editor ip address 172.16.29.195 port number is 38000 and password is cisco here one thing you must keep in mind uh, this IP address and port number may vary when you do this packet tracer activity uh, according to the IP address what you set for your computer and the number of uh, packet tracer uh, I mean the number of instances you opened next is the client side player must add a remote network to the topology using the following directions click the multi-user connection icon represented as a cloud with three lines then click the remote network icon and to add a remote network to the topology right coming to the client side packet tracer activity here we can see multi-user connection then here we can see multi-user and we are going to select this remote network and we are going to add it to our packet tracer next click the peer zero cloud and change the connection type to outgoing then in the peer address field enter the server side ip address you recorded in step 3a in the peer port number field enter the server side port number you recorded in step 3a in the peer network name field enter ptmu link this is case sensitive 
in the password field enter cisco or the password configured by the server side player then click connect right so we will do this now coming to pure zero here we are going to change the connection type as outgoing and here we can see pure address here we are going to uh, give the server side address here it is then pure port number 38000 pure uh, network name it's a ptmu link we are going to give that here ptmu link now we are going to give the password as uh, cisco once more we will type now we are going to press connect next is the pure zero cloud should now be yellow indicating that the two instances of packet tracer are connected yes here we can see that and now this pure zero cloud uh, is uh, uh, yellow next is uh, click the connections icon and choose the solid black copper straight through connection click s2 and choose the gigabit ethernet zero slash one connection then click a pure zero link zero s1 gigabit ethernet zero slash one right coming to connection here we can see copper straight through and we are going to connect to S2 gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 to this uh, pure 0. And here we can see that a link 0 S1 gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Here the pure 0 cloud on the client side player and the PTMU link cloud on the server side player should now both be blue. After a short period, the link light between the switch and the cloud will uh, transition from amber to green. The multi-user link is now established and ready for uh, testing. Coming to uh, packet tracer, here we can see that uh, pure zero and to this uh, PTMU link both are now uh, blue and we can see the link uh, changed from amber to green. Coming to part two, verify connectivity across a local multi-user connection. In that step one, configure IP addressing. The server side player configures the www.ptmu.test server with the IP address 10.10.10.1, the submit to mask 255.0.0.0, and the DNS server address 10.10.10.1. Then the client side player configures the PC with the IP address with the same uh, subnet 10.10.10.10, the submit to mask 255.0.0.0, the DNS server address 10.10.10.1. Coming to IP configuration, uh, first of all we will configure on this uh, uh, server www.ptmu.test desktop IP configuration, here we are going to configure the IP address 10.10.10.1 10 10 10 the submit to mask, also we are going to give the DNS server right Coming to client side PC, desktop IP configuration. Here we are going to set the IP address as 10.10.10.10 and the DNS server 10.10.10.1. Coming to step 2, verify connectivity and access a web page on the server side. The server side player should now be able to ping the PC in the client side player instance of packet tracer. The client side player should now be able to ping the www.ptmu.test server. The client side player should also be able to open the web browser and access the web page at www.ptmu.test. So what is displayed on the web page? Right, so for we will verify this connectivity. Here, uh, this uh, server www.ptmu.test uh, will be able to ping to this PC uh, on the uh, another instance of packet tracer. So we will try that. Coming to the server command prompt. Here we are going to uh, ping to 10.10.10.10. 10 10 10 10. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will ping from uh, this uh, PC to this uh, server www.ptmu.test Coming to this PC command prompt Here we are going to give ping 10.10.10.1 Yes, we are getting the replay Or we can give the domain name uh, ping 
here is domain name www.ptmu.test yes we are getting the replay also now we are going to access uh, this web page from the server side uh, server uh, through this uh, client side pc so coming to pc web browser here we are going to give the url www.ptmu.test and press go yes we are getting ptmu link Congratulations, so you successfully verified a packet tracer multi-user connection. Well, uh, that's all in this packet tracer activity, uh, multi-user uh, tutorial. And here we can see server side completion status 100 out of 100 and client side activity completion status 100 out of 100. So friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your mail. Stay tuned. Thank you.